Okay. <gasps> or go, girl. Go. So this is gonna be a long, long, long video. So I hope you have snack. Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It's good to be back. I wanted to really just do a makeup video of a spring summery vibe golden peachy eye look look and just be very glowy ready for spring ready for summer so that's what i did today i this is a super long like get ready with me talk through like talk about everything in my life and just like i did everything from the brows to like i didn't skip out on anything in this video this is an entire what i do when i get ready so grab a snack because it's gonna be a long one and see where i've been what i've been doing what's on my mind and yeah let's get this video started don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification so you can be notified every single time that i upload so you make sure you never miss a video and i will have a craft video coming up I want to do Mother's Day craft, so I will have it coming up this week, like ASAP. But, yeah, let's get to the video. Okay, so I'm going to start off by just doing my eyebrows. And I switched back to an old... I've been using, like, so many more drugstore products. I don't know if it's because I haven't had a lot of money <laughs> to really buy expensive products like I was. So, I've been, like just embracing all my drugstore products and I actually really really love them. This is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer and I'm using it in dark brunette. I kind of think I need like a lighter color. Okay, now that I outlined them, I'm just going to fill them in. So, anyways, sorry I have been gone for so long. Anyways, as I was saying, sorry I've been gone for so long. Like, I feel like I'm not even used to being in front of the camera anymore. I don't even know how to talk because it feels so different. But I've been, like, crazy busy going through ups and downs. And there was a while I thought maybe I shouldn't even film anymore. But I realized that filming makes me incredibly happy. Like, I just miss it. Like, I was thinking, oh, I don't know if I should film or not. But lately, i definitely been thinking about it a lot more. And, like, yesterday, I wanted to just film. I was like, I need to film. I need to film. And I know I do need to do, like, an April boxy charm, but it's already freaking May. So, I am not going to do an April boxy charm because I just really didn't feel like filming that video. And since it's already May, I was like, mm, I don't need to. So, I decided not to do that. I'm just using my concealer to clean up my brows and like prep my lid. I really just wanted to just really do like an eye makeup look, like a pretty like summery, not summery, springy eye makeup look. That's what I really wanted to do. So that's what I'm currently doing. Um, I've like got a lot of new makeup items since I last filmed, a lot of drugstore affordable stuff and I've been using the crap out of it. So I'm going to be using my Fit Me Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder from Maybelline in light. I don't know how I like that. Like I want it to be like brighter so it can brighten my face. So I think I may switch to like an even lighter one. Not light. And it has like it has color. Like I wish that Maybelline would just make a translucent one because if they did, it would be really good because this powder I really like and I've been enjoying. So I set my lid with that. And then I just got this palette, so I'm going to be using this palette. It is the ColourPop Dream Street palette from Kathleen Lights. And I literally just got it yesterday. So, so pretty. And if you don't know, um, certain Ulta's actually have ColourPop in them. And they just like expanded what Ulta has before. They just had very few and now they expanded it. And they have like the Kathleen Lights palette. They have like, I don't know, like five other palettes. They almost have all of their palettes at Ulta now. And they have a ton more Super Shock shadows and a ton more lipsticks. And 
yeah, it's really awesome. One of the Altas locally to me has it, and I couldn't be more happy. So I'm going to go in with this shade. This shade is magical, and it's the second shade right here. And I'm going to go in with that in my crease. Okay, so I zoomed you guys in so you can see my eyes better. And I'm just going to take that magical color, it's called magical, and put it all in my crease. Is anybody else excited that it's spring and that it's going to be summer soon? I feel like when it hits May, it's like summer. I really want to get all the ColourPop palettes because I just love them so much. And they're like $16 and I just already have four of them and I love them. Like the formula is so good to me and the color range, everything is like perfect. I told you I've really been on this whole kick of drugstore stuff so I've just been using a bunch of drugstore products. Now I am going to take the first shadow right here, Shooting Star, and I'm going to go in my crease. I'm not sure if I'm going to do like a golden -y, glowy eye look or like this gold blue vibe look. I don't know. I think I'm just going to go with the golden -y look because gold reminds me of like spring and summer. I'm going to take this red shade and I'm going to go into the crease. Oh my gosh. Do you see? Like, like barely dip my brush into this and it just like goes everywhere. That's a very loose pigmented shadow for sure. So I'm going to put my hand at the end of my brush and be very, very light handed because this is like super pigmented if you can't tell. And like I barely touched it. And I'm going to take what's left and go on this side. And I'm going to kind of blend this. I'm going to do a peachy golden vibe and then I think next video I'm going to do like a blue and the gold. I'm gonna take this shade right here. Sweet Dreams spray, Mario Badesco. Facial spray, it's something called setting spray, it's called facial spray. And I'm gonna spray it, put it all over my lid. You may have to use your finger. I've been helping my friend plan a baby shower. I've been like crazy busy with this baby shower stuff. I'm trying to make sure it's all done because it's this weekend. And then I just I've just been so busy. I have so many things to do, places to go. And my kid has t-ball games and t-ball practices. I basically only have like, now I'm like limited down to about once a week that I can film. Like the other days, it's just, I can't. So now I'm going to take that first shade that we used, Magical, put it in the crease and kind of blend everything together. So I don't know how long my camera has not been filming, but I put this shade right here, Potion, on my outer corner. I then put the Tarte Tardiest Pro Glow Liquid Highlighter in Stunner all over my face because I really want to be glowy because this is like a golden glowy type of look and yeah that's what I did so now I'm going to take this Ciate Stars and Stripes limited edition eyeliner and stamp the stamp is a star but I'm not going to use that I'm just going to use the eyeliner side and I'm going to just line my lid So now that we have our lids lined, put primer on, and I'm going to use a luminous primer. I'm going to use the Pores No More Luminizer Primer by Dr. Brandt. And we're going to put that all over our face. We're going to be super luminous. Luminous, not luminous. <laughs> so I'm going to put foundation on, and I have been mixing foundations like crazy. It's just something I've been doing and like I don't like just one of my foundations right now I don't know why but for the past like month and a half I've been mixing foundations so the concoction I like is to mix both the L'Oreal infallible 
Pro Matte and Pro Glow. I mix them both equally, like I put a, a certain amount of Pro Matte and then I put a certain amount of Pro Glow and then I start together, mix together and put it on my face and I love how it looks on my face and it really makes my makeup last a long, long time. So we're going to mix those concoctions. I'm going to use my Morphe sponge and just pat that out and then dip it in and go ahead, go ahead. I really like never thought I would mix foundations but I'm mixing like these two foundations. I mix my Too Faced matte, my Too Faced Peach and Poreless foundation with my Milani foundation. I ran out of my Maybelline Pro Matte or Maybelline Fit Me. I ran out of it so I haven't found any to mix with that but I plan on getting that. I totally just marked my earring with foundation. This is why I don't put earrings on before I film. I never put earrings on before I get ready ever. But because I'm like filming, I think I need to look like somewhat decent, so I put earrings on. So, should I talk about where I've been? Like what I've been doing? Maybe? Well, the last time I filmed a video, it was long. It was like more than a month ago. And anything I did upload like three weeks ago or so was pre-filmed like before that so I haven't uploaded in so long but basically I was trying to get my health back in a line look not only how like healthy wise is like eating and stuff but just like mentally being healthy so I just did this like detox program and I learned so much, gained my health back. Well, I didn't gain my health back, but I've learned how to eat better. And I've learned like once you eat better, when you eat something that you're not supposed to eat, that's bad. How much you feel like crap, like so much like crap. Like it hurts your stomach and like it would affect my stomach and my stomach would hurt really bad and I'd feel horrible. Like it make me not even want to eat and like and it would mentally mess me up too because I have like anxiety, so it really would impact like how I felt anxiety wise. So I thought, oh, I'm gonna get a hold of this anxiety and I'm just gonna eat healthy, do all this stuff. And I've been doing it and I've been doing great. And then also I went on like a women's retreat with my church and it really opened my eyes up to a lot and how I was focusing on like my health and myself so much so and like I was trying to trust in myself rather than like trusting in God and I pretty much kind of almost fell apart then and coming back didn't have very good days as far as my anxiety and stuff even though I was eating healthy I was doing everything that I was doing before when I thought I was feeling so good because I was eating healthy oh I'm using concealer I'm using my NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer. Like the best concealer ever. I don't think I'll ever find another one. But anyways, so yeah, I came back and I was still feeling very anxious. And I still kept at eating healthy and doing what I was doing. And just really learning to accept myself and everything that I am. And even if I do have panic attacks and I'm anxious, that I accept myself for it and no matter what it's just nothing it's a big deal and I've learned like so much spiritual wise within this past like month and a half of not filming or doing anything and I almost thought that I shouldn't film anymore that it wasn't doing any good like I don't get very many views on like my makeup videos I do on like my craft videos and I'll be doing a Mother's Day craft I don't know, I guess I felt a little discouraged, but I realized like more and more as the days went on that I love makeup and I love to film. And even if I don't get a lot of views on my makeup videos, I really love to do it. Okay, I'm gonna set my, set my concealer and like bake and I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me 
loose fitting powder in life. But I realized that this is like something that I love and it's a platform that I have whether 20 people watch my video, 30 people watch my video, 10 people watch my video, 1000 people watch my video, no matter how many people watch my video, I know that I have an impact on somebody's life. And there could be somebody out there suffering from anxiety or suffering from what I go through that they can see that they're not alone, I guess. Because when I suffer from panic attacks or anxiety attacks, that's like one thing I think about is like that I'm alone. Because nobody understands me and I'm the only one going through it. And sometimes it was just really hard to face when I would have those attacks. But I'm learning more and more. I'm not alone. First of all, Jesus is here with me no matter what. And I've learned that being a Christian and stuff, that you, you don't necessarily go through pain and go through bad things. And that usually God uses all those bad things for his good no matter what it is. And I don't know if you can see me baking, but it's like we use like this pink cast on like my face it's so weird it's like not my color it's like pink but whatever it is what it is so now i'm gonna bronze i'm gonna use my hula it's my benefit hula bronzer and i'm just going to bronze and contour at the same time don't bolt i've learned that it's good to tell people that you're not alone and to share your journey because i feel like with youtube and with so many things out there and platforms, people can share their journey when before they couldn't. And I know how alone you can feel when you have anxiety, things like that. And I've learned so much. I've grown so much spiritually and seriously, I keep forgetting to make sure that my camera is recording so I have no idea, no idea when it stopped recording. But I contoured my face with my hula bronzer, contoured my nose, and I baked my face, and now I'm brushing away the bake. Okay, so now that our face is baked, I am going to do my lower lash line, and I'm going to use the Dream Street palette, and I'm going to do the same things that I did in the crease under my lower lash line. I'm going to go in with Magical first. Take that underneath the lower lash line. Okay, then I'm going to take that second shade that we used in the crease, the brown shade. I like the perfect crease color. Okay, then I'm going to take that orangey shade, that real red orangey shade, the Spark. It's super pigmented. I'm going to take it just a little bit. Go underneath the lower lash line, and then I'm going to take the outer corner shade, which is Potion. And I'm going to go on like the outer corner right here and bring it like halfway in. Now I'm gonna take that shade again and I'm just gonna kinda like mix these two together so it's not like this harsh line that just goes up. Okay, now I have totally changed my highlight game. Totally. What's so weird is my friend on YouTube, Brittany Ray, if you haven't watched her channel, go check it out here. She hasn't posted in a long time either and she recently posted a video and when she did, like she was seeing how she's been using her highlight the way I'm going to put it on and I've totally been doing the same thing for like a month and a half when I haven't been filming and I absolutely love how it is. So I'm going to use my Dose of Colors Fuego highlighter. You can use a gold tone highlighter. This is like one of my favorite highlighters so that's why I use it. And I'm going to use my sponge and I'm using my tiny sponge the one I use underneath my eyes and I'm just going to dip it in my highlighter like this and I'm going to use it to dab my highlighter on my points my cheeks do you see that it looks so natural and I put it on before I put blush too so when I put my blush on it like kind of meshes together but I have been absolutely loving using my beauty blender not some beauty blender, it's a beauty sponge to put highlight on because it looks so much more natural it like blends in literally I love 
love how the highlight looks when you use a blender like i have not used a brush my brush for my highlight in so long because i just love how it just like melts into my cheeks because you know that after i put on all the powders on my face i spray my face and like set in my makeup this kind of already sets in the highlight especially because it's the highlight and you want it to sink into your skin and look like it's natural even though it's not next i'm going to use blush i'm going to use my nars orgasm blush brush blush and put it on my cheeks and this is like a luminous type of blush real peachy real goldeny you just got that whole vibe going on okay so now that we have all the powders on our face we are going to spray some facial spray to really sink everything in and then setting spray to set it all in at the same time so i'm going to use the mac prep and prime fix plus max fix, mac fix plus you know what i don't like is i do not like the way this sprays i feel like it like can squirt at you and then sometimes i'm like scared it's gonna squirt me so i have it so far away that i'm like spraying it and it's not even hitting my face like does anybody else have that problem or is it just me just say okay spray your face when i edit this video i would love to see like my face because <laughs> i'm like scared of it i'm just gonna pat that in Blend everything together. Then we are going to use Milani Make It Last to really set everything in so it doesn't budge. I've been using my MAC Fix Plus with the Milani and my makeup has been lasting and it's been looking so good, so good. Also, I bought a new, I bought the, the Make It Last like Make It Dewy um, setting spray and no I didn't buy the Make It Dewy. My mom had it and she gave it to me because she didn't like it. So I used that and the spray on it was so bad. It was so bad. It was just like squirting on my face that wasn't even like a mist. It was just like a squirt. It was horrible. And then I bought a new Make It Last because I ran on my old one and the, the spray thing was just the same. It was horrible. So luckily I had my old make it last that I didn't throw away yet and I had to like take the little cap off and put it on my new one and if I want to put it on my dewy one like put it on that in order for it to like spray my face so it's not like squirting into my face if that makes any sense. So now we are going to set our eyebrows, we are going to put mascara on and we are going to put lashes on. I'm using the Essence Make Me Brow to set our eyebrows and get rid of all the powders that got on it. brows done now I'm going to put mascara on I'm going to curl my lashes so does anybody follow the makeup artist makeup by Mario like he does Kim Kardashian's makeup so I'm pretty sure you should know who he is but he gave this tip and he said the number one tip that he can give in doing makeup is to always curl your lashes he says so many people don't do it and it really makes a huge impact so take makeup by mario's tip and curl your lashes um i'm gonna use the l'oreal voluminous primer voluminous volume voluminous or voluminous which one and i'm just gonna put on my lashes Okay, and then I'm going to take the Butter London Double Decker Lashes, this giant mascara one, and I'm going to put it on my lashes. Now we're going to wait for that to dry, and we're going to put on lashes, and then I'm going to take the makeup off my lips. And I'm going to use these lashes I've been using are like by Sally Hansen. i got to peel off the glue from when I wore them yesterday. You know what I never see people do on YouTube? I never seen them peel off their glue. Like, do they even peel off their glue? Do they just like wear a lash and then put it on the next day without peeling the glue? Like, is that what they do or do they peel the glue? Cause I peel the glue cause I feel like it goes on better, it looks better. But do you peel? Answer the poll here. Do you peel your glue on your lashes before you put them on again? Do you completely wash them before you put them on again? I didn't know like certain details and like I was doing what they said or what they were showing in their videos and like I was being very unsuccessful with my lashes and then I watched this one girl 
and she did this video on how she puts on lashes like everything that you need to know about lashes like to the T and like she actually showed me how to place like my glue and where to place it and how to do it and like before like I guess I never knew how to place my glue and I was placing my glue like all wrong so when I put on my eyelashes it never worked out how it was supposed to because I wasn't putting my glue right and like she really she really showed me how to do lashes her name's Jessica Griffin Jessica Griffin I will leave her information like up here or down below so you can watch that like last video because that last video changed my life my lash game life that's for sure so i'm gonna line my lips with this jante bleu in spice and i just kind of line the outer portion because the inner portion is going to be lighter so you want to outline the outer portion and i just color like the outer corners and like the inner a little bit the outer okay then we're going to take this Gerard Cosmetics um, Hydra Matte Lipstick in Madison Avenue and we are going to put it on the inner right here And we're going to tap it in. So I'm going to put my NYX eyeliner on this lid. I already lined it off camera while waiting for my battery to charge because my battery totally just like gave out and died. So I gotta hurry. But I'm going to add this Gerard Cosmetics lip gloss in Coral Craze. So we're going to be glossy. I don't know why, but this lipstick this glass has a light. I don't like it, but. All right, everyone. So that was this, I don't even know what I'm gonna call it like spring summery golden rose golden corally golden vibe eye look and lip i really really love this look i love the new tips and tricks that i've learned i love how far i've come along on my makeup journey like and how far my skin has come like i've just been using so many drugstore products and i've just, really love how like good drugstore products looked on me like before i used to think i used to have to have high end in order for it to like look good but these drugstore products they're doing it for me and that color pop color pop is my favorite brand like if you ask me what my favorite brand is i must say color pop color pop has everything they just need foundations now and settings setting powders if color pop had foundations and setting powders sold i'd be sold but yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you on my next one.